Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about how you can use a program called Audacity to edit your audio clips uh, with our algebra projects that we're doing right now with animation. Um, many of you obviously have to record your script and then bring them in to go animate and sometimes uh, you find that you need to chomp off a little bit of what you've said or perhaps you recorded you know two lines uh, for two characters when you need to have it as just one so audacity is a great program to use for that you'll notice here in google i just typed in audacity i'm going to go straight to the download page and what you'll notice is available for windows and for mac it is a free program so that makes it awesome i'm gonna go ahead and go here for windows and basically you would just uh, load the installer and go ahead and install it on your computer. The one thing to know about Audacity is when you install it, it will allow you to export your new audio files as WAV files, which are WAV files. WAV is great because you can use it in pretty much any program. The problem with WAV is sometimes the files can be a little large. And so when you're dealing with a program like Go Animate, which has a four megabyte upload limit, uh, you might run into trouble if you're saving as WAV files and you have really long audio clips. So if that's the problem you run into, you can also do this optional download for the lame MP3 encoder. What that will allow you to do is to export as MP3 files, which will make your files a lot smaller. So you can follow this link and go through the process here. Just read what it says and be very careful. Uh, if you're going to be installing, you really need, if you're a student, please have your parents do this and walk you through it. So when you load Audacity, here's what it looks like. It opens just like this. And what you can do is you can open up uh, your audio file, your recording. This is a file that we had a group of students who recorded their entire script as one file. And so you can see here we have this very, very, very long script and this is not going to be usable for Go Animate because the voices would keep changing with one character. So here's how you use it. Uh, you can simply play through and you'll hear what's being said. Uh, you can highlight parts. Let's say this very beginning, I just want to chop off. I can highlight and hit delete and now it's gone. And now this is uh, just, I know from earlier we're listening to it, this little section right here is the first line of the script that one character says. So what I can do is I can highlight this and I can copy and paste into a new document. So a variety of ways we can do it. I like the keyboard shortcut because I just hold my control key down and press C, that copies it. I'm going to go into a new document and you'll notice there's a keyboard shortcut for that as well, control N takes me to a new document. Now I'm going to paste it, control V, and here's just that audio clip. So if I'm good with that clip, again, I could trim off a piece if I didn't like the end of it there. But if I'm good with the clip, then all I need to do is go to File, Export. And this part's real important. Uh, it's different than, say, Project. Project means that you're going to come back into it and you want to play around with some other things. When you're actually ready to make the file, you need to go to Export. And when I go to Export, you simply give it a file name. I'm going to just call it 56 here because I'm putting it in a folder with others. One quick note, when you're naming files, uh, if you're using a number sequence, you want to keep them in order, make sure you always use a 0, 1, 0, 2. If you just use 1, 2, 3, then these will get mixed up when you start getting into 20s and 30s and 40s. So if you do a 0, that'll help you out there. So you'll notice I've got a file name. It's saving as WAVE and I just simply click Save. It's going to ask me here if I want to enter any information. This is the type of information that shows up on your MP3 players, your iPods, and so forth that tells you the artist. And you don't have to enter anything here. You can just simply click OK. And what it's done is exported it as a WAV file. So now you're done with that part. So you can simply go back and close. and get another keyboard shortcut, Control w for this one. You can close. Uh, you don't necessarily, excuse me, need to save that. And so now we're back at our original file. Since I've already used this one right here, uh, when I'm working, I find it's easy at this point, then I just hit delete, that gets that out of the way. And now I'm ready to highlight the uh, next part that I want to save. So again, Control C to copy, Control N to start a new document, Control V to paste. Another quick uh, keyboard shortcut, if you hit your space bar, that works as play and that plays it there. So if this were my second file that I needed, I can simply go to export, give it a different file number, uh, save it, and export it. And that's all there is to it. So it's really pretty easy. One other thing I did want to show you that's pretty interesting with Audacity is you have all sorts of effects as well. So you can come up here in effect and you can change the pitch, which could make it sound more like a chipmunk or a really deep voice. You can change the speed to, so it goes faster. You can add echo. There's a variety of things that you can do in Audacity. So it's really pretty neat for a free program.
Hopefully that'll help you when you're doing your algebra animations. And as always, if you have questions, just let me know.